Knobles is one of the best amusement parks in the entire world. This is a place like no else. It has a super unique setting in the woods, and the owners have a deep-seated love for both amusement parks and their history. This park is like a living museum. The park is loaded with classic attractions, and the park has relocated several fantastic rides here over the years, including their award-winning Phoenix Wooden Roller Coaster, and the park takes perfect care of all of them. But the park isn't afraid to evolve as well, as they also mix in some modern attractions. The park runs all their rides to the maximum. They run their rides faster and longer than most parks. So in this video, I will rank the top 20 best rides and attractions at this Pennsylvanian amusement park. Before starting the list, I do want to note that I have never visited their Crystal Pool water park area, but the water slides do look intriguing tucked amongst the trees. Number 20. Cosmotron. This indoor wisdom rides Himalaya isn't the most intense. The ride is on the smaller side, only offering minimal laterals but it features a long cycle, traveling both forwards and backwards, and it's indoors with a decent light show and random music. Number 19, Black Diamond. This is the former Golden Nugget relocated from Wildwood. This hybrid roller coaster and dark ride was given a mining theme. While I like the premise, the scenes are on the darker side, and you pass by them relatively quickly. I wish you had more time to appreciate them. While this ride does have two moderately sized drops, they're completely trimmed. This really is more of a dark ride than a roller coaster. Number 18, Satellite. This Irely Rollo plane may look like it inverts, but the ends of the gondola rotate you upright at the last second, which instead is disorienting. But the wildest part of the ride is when it tilts on its side, and the laterals toss you about like a rag doll. This is a relatively rare flat ride, and I talk about more in a separate review. Number 17, Looper. Working in pairs, you and your partner work together to rhythmically shift your weight around in this hamster wheel. It is a bit tricky, but it's rewarding once you come close to inverting. At that point, you can use the foot pedal to continuously go upside down. I just wish the restraints, which are a burlap seatbelt, were more comfortable. Number 16, the Scenic Skyway. This 15 minute sky ride takes a leisurely ride up the wooded mountainside. The ride up is serene and peaceful. The ride down is dazzling as you look down in Knobles. The view is amazing anytime, but it's particularly great around sunset when the park is illuminated. Number 15, the Pioneer Train. This one and a half mile long miniature train ride travels underneath Twister and then it goes deep into the woods. I love all the squirrel feeders. It shows the park cares about the wildlife. And if you ride this train during Halloween, you pass all these quaint displays and the ride feels like an all new experience. Number 14, Gasoline Alley. This antique car ride offers fantastic visuals of Phoenix. It is the best way to see that coaster's contained layout. Then for Halloween, this is another ride that gets an extensive overlay. The ride is densely lined with little figures and displays, so it feels like a dark ride. I honestly wish it stayed like this year round. Number 13, Flying Turns. This wooden bobsled took many years to build, but it offers a one of a kind experience. The giant trough consumes you, so you never know which way you'll twist next. The ride is smooth as glass, and the final few turns have some wild swinging. Number 12, Fandango. This Moser Frisbee tends to be closed, but it is a great flat whenever it's open for me. You have a super long cycle, and most swings give very weak floater airtime, but then you have four max swings that give stronger airtime. Number 11, Downdraft. This is one of the park's most underrated flat rides. The ride starts by quickly rotating, inducing strong laterals. Then the arms bounce outwards, offering a mix of floater airtime plus a moderate free-falling sensation. This rise another that does tend to be closed, but it is a treat whenever it's open. Number 10, Power Surge. This San Perla flat ride is one of the few versions of this flat in the US that still has a rotating base. This results in more flipping than the other stateside. The gondolas rock and flip non-stop. The ride is super disorienting, 
and it offers hang time galore. Number 9. The Haunted Mansion This dark ride is one of the best examples of a classic ghost house. Knobles put so much love into this ride, and they're constantly tweaking it. The ride is jam-packed with scares. They're perfectly timed, combining loud sounds with great visuals. You are guaranteed to jump at least once, but probably more. I always get caught by one of the effects towards the end, even though I know it's coming. Number 8. The Giant Flume This Hopkins flume has a great setting up against the woods. You weave past trees, and the rock tunnel fits in perfectly. You also have two nice drops. The first one is the warm-up, and the second one is very good, offering a tiny pinch of airtime. The drops offer the perfect amount of wetness, but there is a geyser before the second lift hill that can drench you. Number 7. Impulse Zier's take on a Gerslauer Eurofighter has an ultra-compact layout with solid elements. The vertical drop gives good ejector airtime, then the pullouts blast you with shocking positive Gs. Then you get some hang time on both the vertical loop and especially on the inline twist towards the end. This coaster got new trains in 2020 and it's running better than ever, and I talk about it more in a separate review. Number 6. The Grand Carousel This is the world's best carousel. It's stunningly gorgeous with the pristinely maintained wood-carved horses, a dedicated pavilion, and shimmering lights. Then you also have not one, not two, but three band organs producing crystal clear sound. But most importantly, you can reach for the special brass ring. There's something inherently fun reaching outwards and successfully piercing those rings with your finger. Number 5. Scooters These bumper cars are incredible. These classic loose cars are fast and heavy, so you can cause some bone jarring collisions. These are the hardest hitting bumper cars still out there. The arena forces you to go one way, but I absolutely love t-boning people as they turn, and the arena is the perfect size for mayhem. And Knobles gives a super long cycle too. Number 4. Flyer These Bish Rocco flying scooters have the ability to be the best of the genre. You'd be hard pressed to find a set of flying scooters run as fast and long as these ones and the resultant range of motion is eye-popping. You can brush the leaves of nearby trees and then dive bomb towards the ground. And yes, you are able to snap these ones super easily. The way your tub unnaturally jerks forwards is a thrill unlike any other. I love that sensation. It feels like you're cheating death. A ride where I can go full tilt is worthy of second place in this list. However, I've heard from the park that their official policy is against snapping, so I've stopped out of respect. Even without snapping, and trust me, it's hard to resist, and I swear the tubs do it on their own, the range of motion turns what's usually a family ride into a bona fide thrill ride. Number 3. Stratosphere This Arm Larson drop tower is one of the best out there. The super slow climb is very suspenseful and you get amazing views of both Knobles and the surrounding greenery. Once you reach the top, you abruptly drop like a rock with very little warning. The drop is gut-wrenching. I always lose my stomach, and you also float the entire way down. Number 2. Twister The spiritual successor to Elitch Gardens is Mr. Twister. This wood coaster is all about its blistering pace and unpredictable layout. The ride is heavy on the turns and chock full of laterals. And they're at their best after the lift hills when you get extreme laterals and then you get decent sustained laterals on the famous double helix. The ride also mixes in some sneaky airtime at the start and end of the ride. The two large drops at the start give nice floater airtime in the back and the entry into the first turnaround launches those up front out of their seat. Then the final few hills also pop you out of your seat. The ride is running quite smoothly despite its aggressive layout, and I talk about this ride more in a separate review. And coming in at number 1 is Phoenix. This wood coaster is incredible, and the restraints are arguably the best part, or lack thereof. You have zero seat belts and just buzz bar restraints, so for most riders, that lap bar will be about a good foot above your lap. So every hill will launch me a foot out of my seat, and I slam into the lap bar. 
is an amazing feeling you cannot get in most coasters. Phoenix delivers airtime on every single hill, and the ride only gets stronger and wilder as it goes. The final four bunny hills in particular are one of the best sequences on any coaster, as you get launched forcefully into the lap bar. I always come off this ride laughing. Knobles takes perfect care of this ride, and I talk about it more in a separate review. So those are the top 20 rides and attractions at Knobles. What is your favorite ride, Knobles? Do you agree with me that Phoenix is the best ride? Let me know your thoughts on any of the rides I mentioned, or if you think I missed any down in the comments. If you enjoyed this countdown, I'd appreciate it if you gave this video a like, and you considered subscribing, because there'll be a lot more roller coaster and amusement park videos here at Canopy Coaster. Thanks for watching.